And now on to this, hope and healing. Those are the message as a new school year gets underway today at Santa Fe High School. Yeah, it comes just three months after the mass shooting that killed 10 people and wounded 13 others. Adam Bennett live outside the school with more on how the community is stepping up to help and what mental wellness experts say to look out for, Adam. Well, one parent described today as the first stage in the healing process for so many of these students. They're back together again with their friends after a long, difficult summer with a community pledging to help any way they can. Be nice, be kind. More than 2,000 pencils with messages of kindness and hope. It was just something as a kid we used to do, you know, and I thought, why not bring it back? Handed out this morning on a campus linked with horror and heartbreak. I was as positive as I could possibly be, welcoming everybody back, handing out stickers, have a great day. If you need anything, contact us. Still, Santa Fe High School parents recognize that the start of this school year is especially emotional for both students and parents. Very somber. Parents are on edge. There's students that are not wanting to go into school, and that's understandable. Since the May shooting, the district's added metal detectors and more police officers. This is a learning curve for everybody. The students are having to relearn how to enter their schools because of the safety measures that have been implemented, rerouted through schools because hallways are blocked off. Any type of anxiety or jitters, really a normal reaction. KHOU mental health and wellness expert Bill Prasad says in the year following a school shooting, it's not unusual to see test scores go down and the dropout rate go up. Encourage the teenagers to get back into a routine, both at home and at school. Kids need routine, and that'll help build the comfort level. Survivors say they're taking it one day at a time. It's going to be more safer with all the improvements they have, and I guess I'm ready <laughs> to get school through. With the community by their side every step of the way. These children have already said, what happens if I can only spend five days in the school? And I said, it doesn't make a difference. I got you. And the district says the staff has been trained in some mental health techniques and also trauma support, and they have added extra counselors. Meanwhile, parents say that a great resource is the Texas Children's Hospital's Santa Fe Strong Resiliency Center. They say it has counselors, teachers, tutors, art workshops, and a lot of other resources to help kids here thrive this school year. Jason.